for just another little note on using the colourful thoughts jewel enamels, the thick embossing powders. I'm going to use it on a Twilly Bits um, sprocket. Basically all I'm doing here is wetting the chipboard, making sure it's got a really good coverage of the Versamark ink uh, as a base, which I think it now has. And I'm going to cover it. I've just got it sitting on some Glad Bake. Tap off your excess. That's a fairly good coverage. I'm going to pull this back into the container before I go any further. It helps to reduce wastage and also spillage. Pop that back on the grab bag. And I'm going to heat that up. Sprinkle a few other colours in it. And then I'm going to stamp into it. But instead of using a stamp this time, I'm going to use a cuddle bug embossing folder. Um, which has the... Um, the metal pattern. So we'll just heat this up. Start it on a low speed if you have it or further away and gently go closer till you get it to start melting and that way you'll have less um, blowout from it. You can already see it starting to bead. And I can speed that up a bit now. So I want to age and, and distress it a bit using the other metallic colours. So while it's warm and molten I'm going to sprinkle other colours into it. Just take your gun away for a minute. It will only work while it's molten. If you try and sprinkle it off after it's cool, it'll just blow away. You will have to do bigger items in sections. A bit more gold on this one. bit of black. Over the other side now. I've still got a bit of ink on my fingers so it's looking a bit the more I heat it, adding some of the uh, this colour is called rich copper. So you've got rich gold, rich copper and a bit of black. I'm just going to keep layering these colours until I'm happy with the distressed sort of look or the aged look that it's got. And a bit more black I think. And it will move as it's being blown by the air. So I love this a bit more gold now because we've got the rich copper and the black, so a bit more gold. A little here to break up that copper. Maybe here. Now I'm pretty happy with that, so now I just want to make sure that it's molten. Not too much that it's sliding off the Twitter Bits chipboard. Just moving around, making sure it's even. Now I'm going to ink up this Cuddlebug folder. Oops. Not too worried about that there. I don't want it too hot. Get my brayer. Just rest that on top now. And give it a gentle push. Nothing too hard or heavy. And just hold it down.
you can see that nothing is on the cuddle bird. Embossing folder, there's no residue there because I used the ink. The heat has warped it a little bit, but once you put it through your cuddle bug a few times, that'll fix that. And the sprocket is just drying. I want to give it a bit of a, a glow again, so I'm just going to hit it just gently with the heat so I don't lose that design. Now it looks a bit old and distressed. Pull it off there. And tidy up any of these little bits. And that's an old sprocket that I can now use on the front of the card. I'll just grab it for you. So using the Twiddly Bits colour space, um, the sprocket set embossing folder for the cuddle bug. Um, I've done the front of my card, I've put a few Kaiser jewels on there. The big sprocket can now sit there and I can also put a little one in the middle if I like and put a little greeting across the bottom here. That could go anywhere. And there's also a matching envelope there, again using the Twiddly Bits colour sprays and a few of the Kaiser jewels. Thank you for listening.